active shooter situation. Now, that sounds like an action movie like Bruce Willis or Ben Affleck is going to be in there, but they're not. Those are fantasy things. We're talking about reality. In these settings, the shooting is random. They don't care. The shooter doesn't care who they're shooting. They may have some fixation in their mind. They may say to themselves, oh, I'm going to get beautiful blue-eyed co-eds. But if you're a bald, middle-aged Irish guy, they'll shoot you just as quick. So you got to understand what you're doing. So the first thing, the first piece of advice is you run. You get out of there. Don't hang around. Don't wait and see, is it really a gun or not? You get out. Provided there's a pathway to get out, you get out. And if there's other people saying, I'm not sure I should go, maybe you should wait, we should stay here until the police arrives, ignore them, get out. Run, run, run. Get out of there as fast as you can. If you can't get out, if you cannot get out, what should you do? you got to hide. you got to pick a place that you can hide. Hopefully, the shooter can't see it. Hopefully, it'll be the place that will give you some cover. And for all you millennials out there, switch off your cell phones. Switch them off, including vibration. You don't want to give away your position. And the last piece that you want to do is if the shooter gets into where you're hiding, you got to fight. I don't mean fight the way Joe Chambers fought in those three or four fights he had, and he lost them all in his life. you got to fight. It's your life or their life. Now, I posted a video that law enforcement, the Department of Homeland Security, uh, made about a year ago on this. It's really worth watching. You should do it. It's called Run, Hide, Fight. A link to it is on my website, drchambersoncall.com, and it's on my Facebook page, which is drchambers forward slash Facebook.